brief video on EMF protection for sleep. Now, insomnia is one of the very top symptoms of electromagnetic radiation disturbance, EMF stress. And if you have migraines, that's in there too. But a lot of people can relate to having a hard time. And the more electronics you have in your home, um, the more that this is likely could be an issue for you. So I'm going to go over some points to consider to allow yourself to have a nice sleep and get to sleep. So the first thing is don't sleep next to your cell phone. Don't have your cell phone especially near your head at night. And turn this thing on airplane, okay? So phone on airplane, phone at least six feet away from the bed. Because see, I just mentioned this in another video. The, the Wi-Fi and the 5G and the refrigerator buzzing and the wiring of your home and all of that. I mean, the refrigerator, bu the actual buzzing is something that you can hear. But these devices are all buzzing, but they're buzzing on a level that we can't hear but it doesn't mean it's not there. We can feel it, and the cells know it. You know, it's like, you know. And so that's why you lie down in bed, and it's hard to unwind. You wanna shift into alpha, and then down into theta, and then down into the delta brainwave to sleep, right? The, the human body restores and regenerates itself in the delta brainwave state. And in fact, according to Deepak Chopra, who I super admire, um, sleep is number one. Sleep is the number one health care, health maintenance practice. You have to get a good sleep. If you can't sleep the night through, if you can't sleep more than four or five hours, your body's not getting, your body's not regenerating. So you're aging, quite frankly. You know, you're, you're speeding up your aging process. So let your body sleep. And let your body, I say let your body sleep until it wakes up naturally. Because all this forcing and jerking the body around to jump through all these hoops, you know, these are all stressors. I mean, I know we have to go to work, you know, kind of, right? <laughs> these days, that's a whole nother topic. The point of the matter is sleep is really important. Um, Dr. Chopra goes on, he goes so far as to mention that meditation is number two. And what is meditation? Meditation is nothing but training your, well, I know it's a lot of things, but it's a training, it's training your mind to be calm and relaxed and focused, alert focused. What's that? That's the alpha stage. What's the alpha brainwave stage? That's the heartbeat of, ma of the mama, Panchamama, the mother earth. 7.83 hertz, alpha. So, so that into our world that we find ourselves in today, it seems like everything is happening to, you know, create this urgency and create an emergency and create something else to be, um, you know, <laughs> frightened of. You know, it's all keeping us into this beta, Brainwave, this high beta, anxiety, stress, irritability, reactivity. So um, this is what we, we can, that we're able to recondition ourselves out of. But you know, you have to want to. You have to want to do this. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to be interested. So sleep. So get your phone away from the bed, okay? If you've got a lot of electronics in your room, and you have a lot of rooms in your house, you might want to consider sleeping in a different room than your electronics are. Um, you might want to consider unplugging your router at night, uh, powering down your computer. You know, don't, by all means, don't have your laptop, you know, thing up all night, you know, with whatever, screen savers or whatever. Power that thing down or, you know, have it in a different room. So try to sleep in a room away from a lot of electronics. Put your phone or your phones on airplane mode. 
and um, let your room be dark, okay? So every cell in the body is photosensitive, right? It, it is responsive, it detects light. So just like you know, you know, when you can't sleep because somebody's got the light on, you know, down the hall or in another room or even, you know, even coming under your door or, you know, street lights, etc. A really good practice for healthy sleep habits is to black out the window, put a blanket over the window, try to have cave darkness, okay? Because it's in darkness where your brain can produce melatonin. So, so like I just said, every cell in the body is photosensitive. So you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, don't turn on the bathroom light. Have a night light, you know? Or use your phone <laughs> as a flashlight, you know, just the screen. But don't look at it. Don't get it, don't get that light in your brain, okay? The other thing is don't watch, have a blue blocker on your phone. Or don't watch TV right before bed, okay? Or, you, or use pink glasses if you're gonna do that. But the blue, you know, the blue tells the brain, the blue light tells the brain that it's high noon. You know, time to get up. Not time to make melatonin, no, no. So let your body make melatonin with a dark place. So dark and quiet. So quiet means quiet, silent. And these little things are really undermining our silence because like I said, they're making a silent noise. It's a screaming, okay? On the energetic level, these things are freaking screaming 24 seven. So let yourself have a quiet place, a dark place, and then um, <laughs> quiet and dark. And the last thing is you can use one of these. And what a what might this be? This is called a sleeping pod. This is made out of organite. Um, organite is metals and crystals that have been pulverized, finely powdered, and they're compressed in a um, epoxy matrix, okay? The compression of the crystals and the metals creates what's called the piezoelectric effect. Piezoelectricity is something that has been known for a long time, and it's what your quartz crystal watch runs off of. So it's a generator. Um, piezoelectricity, it's like a free energy, okay? It's like, it's a secret. You know, it's a secret that there, I mean, this could be utilized so much more, but there's this addiction in our culture to these fossil fuels and, you know, generating electricity. Well, we know how to do it on crystals. Crystals aren't airy-fairy. There's crystals in your computer, okay? There's, there's crystals in, um, you know, probably in your car, in the, um, in the dashboard. So crystals are used in technology, and this is just a, this is a passive energy device. So it's a passive negative ionizer. So when you're sleeping, this goes underneath your pillow or somewhere in bed around you. And so what it does is it's creating kind of a protective bubble via field effect changes. So all these Wi-Fi and electromagnetic, electromagnetic signals are going through the air. Well, this is kind of creating this ionic breeze through the in immediate environment. And as far as I know, this will um, radiate around you to six feet. So, so thereby offering protection for your entire field, your entire bioplasmic bubble, which extends up to six feet out from you. Okay. This is why you know somebody's coming before they're there because you feel them. Okay, everyone's had that experience. So check it out. Um, you can also wear pendants, orgone pendant. They're often very beautiful. Have the organite pyramids, which I spoke of in one of my previous videos. Have an organite pyramid near your in your room, definitely next to your computer while you're working on it. And then get yourself a sleeping pod. And I will link this below. I love mine. 
And I love even to look at it. It's very beautiful, but I don't hardly ever look at it because I have it in my pillowcase and it has helped my sleep a lot. So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you have any comments or questions, then please leave those below. Thanks so much.